The semiconductor crisis has led the world's major powers to rely on Taiwan due to its leadership in the manufacturing of these essential components. While oil is widely available, microchips, which are the brains of electronic devices such as cars, iPhones, and toasters, are supplied by only a few companies. Although these chips are built using silicon, a common resource found in silica sand, they became scarce starting in 2022, and this shortage persists to this day. Given the importance of microchips for the future of humanity, the question arises, why aren't they manufactured on a large scale by everyone? Why do only a few countries, including Taiwan, concentrate the production of these chips, including the highest quality ones? Not even the United States and China, known for their advanced technology, are at the top in this aspect. This situation generates a strategic advantage for countries that possess these chips, and it is important to understand the reason behind it. In 2022, an article by NeoFeed highlighted that the next major global crisis would be the semiconductor crisis and emphasized Taiwan's leadership in the manufacturing of these microchips. Taiwan is an occupied territory, and its geographic location plays a strategic role in trade negotiations, especially with the United States, which has strong diplomatic relations with Taiwan, although it does not recognize it as a sovereign country. This detail is crucial to understanding the situation. After the Chinese Civil War, led by nationalist Chiang Kai-shek and won by the communists led by Mao Zedong, the nationalists were forced to take refuge on the small island of Taiwan, where they founded the Republic of China. Since then, Taiwan has been a point of resistance to the influence of the communist government based in Beijing. Although considered a dependent territory of China, Taiwan has extensive political, economic, and social autonomy. However, China considers Taiwan a rebel province and has an interest in regaining control of the island, both for sovereignty issues and because TSMC, the world's leading semiconductor company, is headquartered there. In 2022, TSMC was responsible for producing around 65% of the world's microchips and approximately 90% of the most advanced chips. This makes Taiwan the global leader in semiconductor manufacturing. The semiconductor crisis has caused the world's major powers to depend on Taiwan due to the importance of these advanced chips in various sectors. These components are crucial for recent advances in artificial intelligence, allowing robots like those from Boston Dynamics to perform complex tasks and perfect acrobatics. They are also vital for the production of the most advanced cars, such as those from Tesla, and play a crucial role in the production of state-of-the-art weapons, such as the MQ-9 Reaper drone from the United States. Additionally, simpler and low-cost chips are used in everyday electronics such as toasters, refrigerators, and calculators. Both China and the United States recognize the importance of Taiwan in this context, as the recent shortage of semiconductors has increased the influence of these countries over the island. The U.S. establishes trade agreements to meet its demand for these valuable chips, while Taiwan strategically ensures military support from the U.S. in the event of a possible Chinese invasion. On the other hand, China does not have friendly ties with Taiwan but remains an important trading partner and sees the retaking of the island as an opportunity to gain economic and military advantages over the U.S., as well as to monopolize the global semiconductor market. Although China and the United States have the capability to manufacture their own chips, when it comes to mass production of the most advanced chips, Taiwan far surpasses them. This raises the question, why have countries abandoned the production of these microchips, knowing their importance in today's world? Currently, China produces just over 5% of the world's chips, while the U.S. contributes around 10 to 12% making it clear that both still heavily rely on Taiwan. This scenario has been exacerbated by the trade war between China and the U.S. While the U.S. has been pioneers in technological advancements, including semiconductor technology, over the years they have scaled back their efforts in this area, while Asian countries like Taiwan and South Korea heavily invested in chip development and manufacturing. The governments of these countries dedicated substantial amounts of money to this industry, allowing their companies to surpass those of the U.S. However, in the face of the global chip crisis, 
both the U.S. and China recognize that they cannot do without these precious little objects. The semiconductor crisis has resulted in the world's major powers depending on Taiwan. In this context, Intel, a major American chip giant, announced a $20 billion investment to open a factory in Arizona, with plans to open additional factories in Ohio, United States, and Germany, the latter being the largest. However, these factories will only be ready by 2025 and 2027. The European Union is also grappling with chip shortages and plans to invest around $49 billion to address this situation. Europe also feels the pressure of becoming dependent on Asia in this regard. These chips are extremely important for the mentioned powers, especially in the production of technologically advanced warfare machines. U.S. President Joe Biden has demanded that American companies stop selling chips and chipmaking equipment to China. Furthermore, the CHIP Act Congress was announced, which is a $52 billion investment package to counter Chinese technological advancements in this field. While the U.S., Europe, and China raced to deal with the consequences of the crisis, other nations preferred not to engage in this technological race and choose to remain dependent. For many countries, it would be too costly and out of reach to compete in this field. China, for example, has already spent around $80 billion on chips from TSMC alone and has announced investments of $143 billion, surpassing the values of the U.S. and Europe. China, like the U.S. and Europe, seeks to achieve greater self-sufficiency in this sector. However, dependence on Taiwan has been a limiting factor for China's progress. The competition between these powers and the final outcome are still uncertain, but there is a possibility that China may emerge victorious due to its cheap labor and ability to manage factories, represented by companies such as Huawei and SMIC. Experts assert that there is a high probability that no company will reach the level of TSMC in Taiwan, as it is already significantly ahead. However, the U.S. and China continue to exert their influence over this island nation to ensure a supply of high-quality chips. South Korea, represented by Samsung and SK Hynix, is also in the race, as well as Japan, which has significant potential. Europe may have fallen behind in this race, but it boasts highly advanced chip companies in Germany and Switzerland. ASML Holding, located in the Netherlands, is a global leader in manufacturing lithography machines used to pattern circuits on high-tech chips. Intel and ASML Holding are preparing to revolutionize the market with a new and incredible technology. It is important to mention that on this channel, we intend to address this new technology. So if you are not yet subscribed, take this opportunity to subscribe now. In summary, for companies from other countries to participate in this technological race, it would be extremely costly without chip manufacturing infrastructure. They lack the machines, expertise, and crucial patents in this area. Manufacturing microchips is comparable to a space journey, being extremely challenging to initiate. Just as all nations on Earth do not have the ambition to send rockets to Mars, they do not delude themselves into thinking they can achieve such a feat someday.